I feel like he's the most excited coach we've ever had. This week, you're being coached by DJ Tamby. Oh, snap, there he is. DJ Tamby is the only artist who has won this thing twice. The judges have decided unanimously, Old Town Inc. DJ really brought it on both tattoos, balls to the wall. I gotta go with DJ. My vote is for DJ. I think DJ's personality is a large personality. Do you guys have any ideas? I think we should go really simple. Simple? I like Always try to be like totally outside or you can create a story and then you create your art piece. Yeah. But the thing about DJ is his artwork backs up his mouth. DJ, clearly you didn't go small. Nope. If he puts his head straight down, look at the crowd. He's got a mask on the top of his head that slides up. Killer. Woo. Killer. 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 DJ's a two-time winner. He's an amazing tattooer. He's one of the most versatile guys that we've seen on this competition. He'd do almost any style and beat everybody at it. DJ, I love the pose. I love the elements. And the way you shaded the tattoo looks like it's supposed to look. DJ dominated this competition with bold tattoos that are packed with color. And now, you must do the same. If you have a problem saturating ink, today it is going to show. You heard it. Solid, bright color. Don't mute it. Let's see what you got. When DJ gives somebody advice or shows somebody how to do something, regardless of the delivery, you know that he can deliver it himself, so he's leading by example. Try to keep some of the aspects of realism, like fade your black, all behind here. Okay. How you doing over here? Good, just turn your like black colors in. That's all it is, big blocky, solid tattoo. DJ's a great artist on paper, and what I look for is for DJ to be able to push his team artistically on paper and get people back into drawing and away from their iPads. Ladies, on point, dude. 